for liquid and a squeeze pack of the Gatorade that she quickly down. We'll see how she goes. Here she is serving to start it out. Burgess with the pass to Bug. And the kill. So no damage done on the Hancock serve there for Stanford. And the other thing to note, Stanford tried an experiment in set number three, and that was to put somebody uh, to switch the order, to actually spin it a little and not have Inky Ajanaku on the court right at the start. They go back to their bread and butter. This is what they've been doing most of the season. She started again, as she did in set number one and two, but not in three, at left front. Now she's in middle front, ready to try to impose her will as a middle blocker. Point for Penn State for this Cardinal program. Four national titles in the 90s. They won again in 2001 and then in 2004. And none since. This is their first trip back to the semis in six years. By their own estimation, they say they are long overdue for another championship. They have a veteran team, a core group of six rotation players, primarily Karch, that have been together for the last three years and have seen the disappointment and now want to celebrate. Exactly. The setter Maddie Bug said, I've been able to play with the same three strong passers on the court the whole time these last three years. So they have a system, this old school 5-1, that keeps their outside hitters on the court all the time. That gives them some real advantages in terms of knowing each other and building trust. Lots of other teams, for example, Penn State will sometimes take Allie Franti out of the backcourt. Texas took Haley Eckerman out of the backcourt. Even Alexa Gray, as, uh, as effective as she was for BYU, will come out in the backcourt. Not the case for Stanford. John Dunning has talked about all the puzzle pieces fitting together, how their experience together has helped them get out to that 33-1 record, the top seed in the tournament. They won it all in 1994. They won it all in 2004. Can they do it in 2014? Out to the early lead here in the fourth. Back to Courtney. Blocked. Chance for Moretta Lutz. She gets the kill. Point Stanford. Well, let's take you back, 1994 National Championship with Wendell and Sharpley and Focal, and then in 2004, the 11 seed, the lowest seeded team to ever win the championship with Ogana Namani and Kristen Richards and Bryn Kehoe, a freshman setter. And now you look at a BYU team that could be the first unseeded team to win a championship. They, too, have a freshman setter. In a Lowy Robbins party, and they'll be playing on Saturday night. A freshman center who only started two <laughs> matches all season. Just so happens to be the regional finals yeah. and the national semifinals, but he's counting. Pretty impressive performance yeah. by her and a pretty bold move by Coach yeah. National Coach of the Year, just named today National Coach of the Year, Sean Olmstead. Who's going to join that party? Courtney had to try and push it away from Lutz, who was standing there at 6 8, waiting on the other side. And Stanford out in front, 7 to 3. Yeah, remember how uh, at one point we were watching a John Aku and Bug at the end of the second set? Um, at the end of the second set, not block. They saw the hitter stay on the floor. Lutz is one who she's a little younger, doesn't have as good in terms of or the, the eye work doesn't go as well. And so sometimes when hitters don't leave the floor, she still will. She got lucky on that one and uh, caused an error. But the Lutz and the solo stuff for Washington and the emotion from the freshman has energized this team for the last couple of months since she returned from her injury. Yeah, and sometimes Coach Rose will say, hey, look, you need more energy. She says, oh, I'll have to be goofier. i got to have bigger, bigger dance moves. i got to find a way. And she's so expressive when she 
makes a big play. Here she is lining up to set, to block out on the right side. You can see how early she made a move out there. Yeah. And I don't know, Karch, if you would consider Penn State to ever be an underdog at this point, but certainly with the younger team, with freshmen in the lineup, you get the sense that they're thinking, hey, we can come in here and steal one from a Stanford team that on paper looks to be the better side. But of course, Russ Rose and the Penn State championships haven't been about what's on paper, it's about what's on the court. And there are lots of fans of NCAA women's volleyball who would love to have seen these two teams meet later to be in yeah. opposite sides of the bracket. Last year, they were even in the same regional and had to meet not, neither it's in a situation where both couldn't make it to the national semifinals. Franti gets dug up by Gilbert. Howard's tip right to Washington. Chance for Stanford. Out of the back, Burgess swooping in for the kill. Stanford going for a fourth option. Three front court hitters, but they also have Jordan Burgess ready to attack. And that was well executed by the setter, Maddie Bug, who got her hitter a one on one situation. Washington as it ping pongs around, points Stanford. Mia Grant back in front. She was strong in that third set. Mia had four kills. Penn State leading the match 2-1. to one. Burgess again out of the back. Here's Franny going to get a swing on it. Looking for the corner. Doesn't find it. That's the area that Franti's been trying to hit all night long. They want to keep it away from the tall little blockers of Ajanaku and Lex. And hit it instead at the right side blockers, Bug and Bo Catherine. Grant coming around the back. Misfires again, point Stanford. as long as you can hit it back on your side on the outside of the antenna. Penn State returning the favor, the same backcourt attack out of the middle of the court. Very difficult for wing blockers to get to. And now Micah Hancock at the line. She's been an important part of the scoring for Penn State. And that one goes in, as it always this, this season. Whitney gets the kill. Hancock will get another serve. Coach Rose said yesterday he thinks she's probably contacting the ball at a higher point than any player on these two teams. And that was the case there, going almost over in Piagonic. Jump and touch around 11 feet. Hancock gets another one in. Howard, who made the pass, gets the swing. Nice. Uh, Franti trying to find the corner. Burgess keeps it up. And the kill for Howard. You saw Hancock at the tail end of that play stretching out her leg to try and deal with the cramping that Holly Rowe was telling us about a moment ago. Saw her reaching for those toes to stretch out the leg. And that's exactly the kind of move that can bring on some seizing of the muscles when you have to big, make a big explosive move forward defensively. Nice up by Burgess in the backcourt. Looking for Franti. Through the block for the kill. She's come back strong after that performance in the region final. Sure has. Feeling back to health and attacking. Really, she's not hitting anywhere more cross court than that. You see her either hitting line or between those blockers, but they're exclusively hitting to their left. You've got to admire the assertiveness with which. She's playing this game as a freshman in her first national semifinal. 
Illinois High School Player of the Year and the second-rated recruit in the country behind her teammate, Haley Washington. Both tried on two. Now she'll go to Johnny who dug up by Hancock. Two really nice defensive plays by Hancock. Whitney Burgess was there. Gonzalez gets to that one. Courtney put a spin on it. Back and forth we go. Another get by Gonzalez. Wow. Gilbert pops it over. Quick to Grant and she missed it. Point Stanford. I'm so impressed with the defense on both sides, especially Hancock with two great reads. Anticipation. And then Gonzalez coming toward us on one sideline and then running to the far sideline, ready for all of those scramble plays, those ones that are unorthodox, but they, they, they make them look easy. Fourth hitting error of the set for Penn State. Stanford up three. down the net, Bug is there, bump set from Gilbert, off the head on the swing from Burgess, Bug looks to Burgess, tip denied, kept up by the Cardinal, and that one will go long, Point Penn State. by the Penn State blockers. We call this a double commit. Two blockers jumping and getting four hands in the face of Inkia Jonathan. Grant with a good serve. And Washington finishes. Even at 13. And you can see people converging all over there, ready for Bug to send the ball over. Plus, they have the block. Really good reading and anticipation ability on the Penn State side of the net right now. And she laughed more than anybody should <laughs> more than anybody should have uh, license to, and have a great time working together. As she left for a few years to go to the Texas program. And now he's back as associate head coach. You would have to see on paper, maybe the uh, the succession plan is it's, it is in place at Penn State. And along with Steve Mussey, the other assistant there. And when you talk about the Stanford bench, of course, the longtime relationship with John Dunning and Denise Corlett, one of the most respected assistants in the game, is. Gilbert, or excuse me, uh. Burgess gets the kill to even it up. With John and Denise. And Jason Mansfield, their other assistant. A lot of continuity on those staffs, which is no accident as these two programs have had such great success, especially Penn State these last seven, eight years. We talked a lot about the freshmen. We talked a lot about Grant, the All-American in the middle, and it is a career night for Megan Courtney now with 21 kills for the Nittany Lions. And Hancock alongside Washington with the block, and it's Penn State by a couple. And that's an underappreciated skill for Micah Hancock. She lines up here. Normally, she doesn't step out early and squat and jump. She'll take a run at it, use her, hand, uh, use her arms to jump. That time, Moretta Lutz, as tall as she is, she has two blockers in front of her. That's not going to slow her down. She's having a, a great night herself now with 10 kills on 19 attempts, hitting over 420. Hancock goes to Washington, skids home. Point Penn State. And this is that slide play we talk about where... Uh, a uh, middle comes from one side of the court, comes around to the other. It's a natural, if you're a basketball player, that layup approach off one foot. 
Courtney gets the ace. And now a moment of truth here for Stanford. You've been building towards this match all year long. Megan Courtney serving for the Nittany Lions to 25. Got a win by two. Burgess gets the kill. And she will go back to serve. This is a shot that Burgess has been hitting often. That cross court, hitting the scene between two blockers. She loves to run it faster than any other player in front of the setter for Stanford. Franti. And of course, keep an eye because now Micah Hancock is in right front. She's going to get to her third turn at the service line a year ago in the NCAA final. She was huge down the stretch. But first, it's Gonzalez with a nice short serve. Bocath are able to chase it down. And now, in transition, Grant denied by Stanford. Howard and Lutz were there. And now, the rotation where Lutz goes out and Ajanaku comes on. This is Nia Grant again, blocking on her left side of the court, then coming around behind. But Stanford doing a much better job defensively than we saw earlier in the replay. Hancock looking to Courtney out of the back, got it. A new career high for Megan Courtney. 22 kills, and here comes Hancock to serve. And watch her come right down the middle. That one get, it went through the hands of Ajanaku. She was in a good position, and now Hancock at the line, watching for that curve with the left hand. Whistle. And a net violation on Penn State. Stanford limits the damage. They draw within two. And now it's Bo Cather back to serve. To Whitney. Howard. Gonzalez down to keep it up. Franny with a big swing off the block. Great get by Burgess. But John Aku, her only play was deep. And now to the middle, Gilbert with the D. Franti. Got it. And down on the other side for Penn State. So a point to Stanford. Stanford, actually both teams, but Burgess, in this case, all over the floor, and Ajanaku coming up with a huge touch at the net to pull Stanford within one. She caught up. She was late and still got her hands over and in a good spot. Big play there by Stanford. Penn State with the timeout. They have one left. Stanford does not have any. And a must win for the Cardinal. Freshman class that we've talked about, Penn State, similar to the junior class now at Stanford, coming in with such expectations. Ajanaku leading the way with Howard and Bud. They're all up front right now, and a point for Penn State. Can the Nittany Lions end the Stanford run for the second year in a row? A fifth postseason defeat in seven head to head matchups. This is Howard. Got it off the block. Point Stanford. now with Megan Courtney having been so hot, hitting over 322 kills, I would look to her and I, if I were Penn State I'd like the matchup with her hitting across the net from there it is. Back against Maddie Bug the setter who is not a bad blocker but she's nothing like Inky Ajonicu, so watch you've got Bug over here and Courtney's gonna, Megan Courtney's gonna hit right over her. They love that matchup and they're gonna get it again on their next service turn. Wow. Ajanaku towering over the Penn State block for the kill. And now Ajanaku out and Lutz is in. Watch Ajanaku go right over the block. 
of Penn State. So again, we have Megan Courtney on the left hitting against Maddie Bug. She's been hot. I would probably go to the hot hand again. And Stanford gets the good touch. Burgess tries the tip. They'll go back to Courtney. Defensively, Howard. Back to Burgess. Missed it wide. Penn State. Two points from the match. And a knockout of the top seed. Will number one and number two both fall tonight in the national semifinals? Courtney once again. Cross court. Burgess stuffed. Newcock couldn't finish. Back to Burgess. Blocked again. Gonzalez tracks it down. Sliding behind Washington. Match point Penn State. Washington tried to play it over. Stanford with a chance. Lutz missed it. And Penn State upsets top seeded Stanford. And will play for a record seventh national championship on Saturday night.